What is up, everybody? What lurks within investigation files? It is April 8th, and the time is 2.51 p.m. in the year 2024. And I am here today at the Park Cemetery here, located in Tilton, New Hampshire. Got about 4,100 grave sites here, or memorials, whichever you want to call them. And if you can hear it behind me, you also have not really sure how far this goes. We got some of these. That one literally looks harsh, like a couple bricks missing. Mabel Perkins, wife of George O. Fogg, March 2nd, 1885 to March 2nd. 1914 and Robert Sanborn Perkins so there's a f might be one two three whoa there's like one two see if I can count the names one two three four five six there's six people in this one And we got homes. Tilton. Kind of strange because I'm in a. I think this is a town of Tilton. Or city, whichever, whichever it's called. This thing goes on for friggin'. There's a little steps that go down here. <laughs> There's literally. I don't know if this is safe. Yeah, I'm not gonna try it right now. Atman, A T A S or E O oh, Eastman. <laughs> I couldn't see because the sun was in my face. E A S T M A N Eastman. I don't see any names. I felt like I felt like bricked in. You ain't getting out of. You wouldn't be getting out of this if you were trapped in it. Samuel Tilton, Myra Tilton. They got like a whole big family in here. Louisa, Charles, William. And of course I got my, some of my brightness up almost up the outdoors feature yeah I don't have it on the outdoors yet and 94% battery I don't know why I thought that the, this place would have like one of those streams
other one, but we were just on. No oh, damn. Some kind of gazebo type thing here. Oh, This is quite huge for 4,000. Piper. Gonna be a lot of 18 and 1900s probably here. Because that one. Cary, C A R Y Fellows, R E I C H, Rich. Rich. 1927 to 2022. Turkey, turkey, T-U-R-K-E-Y. Tibet. Broken off. Lift a bit. Oh, barely. Uh, yep, I think that'd be your demise. I gotta be careful because I'm near the edge. What the? F Something's been digging at this. What the heck? I don't think I want to know what's in there. People are buried underground, but maybe a raccoon? That's too small for a fox. Maybe Pennywise. You in there, Pennywise? Guess so. Kind of want to start doing some intros, like with a little bit of a, like a theme or something, but 
more than likely I'll just be copyrighted for, the, for that. Whichever song I want to use. And our favorite. I don't have to say what that is. Usually when I go to one of these places, I'm not going to find one. Uh, yeah. Strike that, reverse it. I am going to find one. It's a huge dam. Yeah, yeah, we got another, uh, like father, mother. Some of them do say names. George. E L E L S E A. Lena, Mary, Forrest, as in Forrest Gump. No, I'm just kidding. And I can't really read this one unless it says, I see, oh, Russell, R-U-S-S, -S, Russell. And another Elsia. I think that one's down. Oh, these ones are up. Oh, yep, I ain't good with that. I don't know what's under it. I don't think I want to know. It could turn it. That's going to have to stay there. Be the names of the ones that are in the front. Family type. There's some down trees. And we got a tree that looks like it's about ready to fall. But thankfully, not on any headstones. Dang. This family definitely had some. Some bucks. I believe I did say this is called the uh, the Park Cemetery. It's called Park, like P-A-R-K, with no like extra K. This family had some uh, some money too. Some of these are actually hidden by this tree. So obviously, it doesn't seem like this place gets well taken care of. Look at all these branches on this. Can't read the person. I like they're covered in it. Oh, the fallen one, I think. 
And of course, it has to be a Mary. This one's leaning. Oh, that one's about to break. Yep. Sorry. Damn. Let's see if I can. I don't think I can. Nope. How do they just pop out like that? <laughs> Never seen this before. Like one here, there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, like. Hill. Frank Hill, 1849, 19 to 1932. Clara C. Schreibner, his wife, 1845 to 1932. I think there are more here. Can't read everybody. Yeah, this is just covered in too much moss. I haven't seen anything like this before. It's like a big, like, stone casket type thing. Brown, brown, young, brown, brown. So there's four browns and one young. Oh, wait. Actually, all browns. Arthur S. Brown, Belly Peabody Brown. Jesse Brown, young. Jenny Worthen Brown and Hiram... C H E L L I S Brown. I gotta spell it out because sometimes I can't pronounce it. Oops. This is gonna be all grass, feels like it. Some of it. Another forest. See if I can go up close to it. That one right there, yeah, forest. There's another one that I recently went to called Pine Grove. And that's located in Guilford, New Hampshire. And uh, it's Pine Grove Cemetery, but it was actually uh, had chains up in the front of the entrance. Of course, I got more fallen ones. Broken off. This feels like a big, huge, uh, some kind of ball.
At least we got some pavement. Oh, it's open. Whoa, <laughs> this one's like. Somebody break into this one? Oh, heck no. Whoa. I don't know who broke into this one. I guess that's what one of these places look like. Oh, this is what these places look like. All right. Here, shut this up. I don't tell you whoever broke this. I think it's too heavy for me to pick up. Oh yeah, I can't pick that up. That's like the work of... <clears throat> yep. I don't know if somebody did this or if this just fell because it's really old. I'm not really sure why. I only just peeked in it because I didn't walk in it. Backside. Oh, that's like the first one I've ever seen open. Apparently paid good money for it to there's no like doorknobs or anything on it. Good thing I brought my light. Gilman. Not really sure what comes out of here at night. But at least from a distance, if I was in here at night, that, uh, because I didn't really give a time when this place was closed. Twenty-four minutes on, so I'll be going on twenty twenty-five. Yeah, I gotta check the time. Three seventeen. I got this huge. Damn, I guess this was a common name back then. Mary T. 
Chase or Mary Chase Hunt, mother. So this is the hunt plot. This thing is massive. Damn, I wonder how, how they get, even get this thing here. Back in these times, had to use something. This thing weighs, it looks like it weighs like a ton. Probably more than a ton. Pretty much like the only one here. I think there's some kind of waterway down here. Oh damn, nope, maybe not. All about woods. Some military people, I would assume. Oh, yep, World War II. Anytime I see a flag, I see Vietnam. These are World War II people. U.S. Army. Not really sure what dug that. I didn't figure for four thousand one hundred, it'd be this huge. Won't be able to get everybody in this video. More down trees. Benedict. Plumber. Well, at least it's shady over here in the summertime, hopefully. This one still has a bunch of stuff at it. Like, like Christmassy stuff still. In some kind of tree or bush.
Hey, we got a flag. Somebody's flag. Put it there. So there. Yep, Army, US Army. It just means it's a little darker. just got kind of darker in here. I mean, it may not look like it, but. the flag out. Look at all these flags. Here. There's that. Yep. U.S. Navy. Decoration don't seem to want to seem to stay. Belong to, but I'm gonna put Oh yeah, this guy was a Spooner, Edward K. Spooner, 1972 to 1995. Got one of those uh, candle things. Oh, this guy's got a basketball hoop on his. If you all can read that. Oh, 2020. Looks like we've got some more interments. A little bench. Oh, you gotta pick up the scarecrow guy. Scarecrow guy fell. Probably fall again. Another Mary.
Yeah, some I think this is interment. And they got a bench too. Yep, interment. Richard, and it says Shirley. Richard, 1934 to 2012 to, and then the other one. Shirley, 1938 to 1998. I was only eight years old. You got a last name? Couldn't only say. All right, all right, all right, uh, yep. This is their last name. I love you, truly, truly, I do. Another internment. Because of like John and Lori Colby. September 15th, 1954 to October 8th, 2018. Lori J. Colby, beloved wife, March 8th, 1962 to June 27th, 2008. Well, there's a lot of tree trunks, or it's a lot of trees. Artificial. Oh, look at this one. It's got like a print, like a like a house. We live together in happiness. We trust together in peace. Marcia, Marcia, Ann. Pitt Toniak, February twenty fourth, nineteen forty six. Oh, so okay, she's not deceased yet. It says Michael Bertrand Sr., April 12th, 1947 to November 27th, 1991. I was only one years old. Possibly another interment. George E. K. D. Forge and Irma. IRMA, nineteen twenty-three to nineteen eighty-one. This is Irma Mimi. And George E. K. nineteen fifteen to nineteen ninety-five. Yep, this is where. So let's put some kind of tool in there to get it undone. Man, I just can't believe that like, people are in these. That's how big the casket is. You can definitely see how big it goes from like here all the way down here. That's that's big. So pretty much husband and wife, I would assume. And yeah, they got like two little where flowers can be put at. Must have been husband and wife.
This is another interment. Fred L. Morrill and Dorothy, his wife. Morrill, 1902 to 1980. And Fred L. Morrill, 1894 to 1977. Really? Only one? I'm sorry, they're like piled on top of each other. I see two, but like there's no... Oh, they see like one slot. Yeah, here's some definite shade, but I don't want to wear some uh, off the wood spug spray. This up a notch, another notch. I want to get one more last look in the in this mausoleum in case they ever decide to pick up the gate. Has I never fully been in one. Oh, geez. 
Whoa, holy sh! Wow, holy damn. There's somebody freaking, somebody literally smashed into this. I can't tell if anybody's up there. There's somebody's freaking casket in there. I don't know who because the name's not on here. Wow, that's what it feels like in one of these. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out. I'm sorry, I did this to you. Somebody would come in here and smash this. Go down. Oh wow. Actually, I want some. Uh... I gotta open it back up one more. I'm gonna take, gotta take a picture of it. I wanna take a picture first. Yeah, I gotta set this down for a minute. Oh, damn. Alright, I'm gonna be wrapping up this video here today. That is the first time I've ever seen it. That's, that's creepy. That's like the first time that I've actually seen a place inside like that. I have 52 minutes on. Keep seeing the name, last name Tilton a lot too. Because that crypt that I was just at. Like somebody broke the locks off it or something. Another interment down here.
other interment. Another one broken off. I think that must have been head broke off. Another broken one. Alright, gonna be come, coming to a conclusion, conclusion, or concluding this video, however it's said. Haven't gone through everybody yet. Another place that needs maintenance. I believe I'm just going to do an hour. Already getting kind of sweaty. Haynes, H A Y N E S. I've heard of that last name before. Oh, and we've got the French. F R E N C H. Oh, now it's brighter. I 
check my battery. Ooh, 77%. Wasn't too bright in here. I wouldn't have my brightness features up. Helen. Helen, mother, father. Stanley. Joanne. And Thomas. Alright, that's, that's an hour. Uh... Hopefully you'll be able to see me. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. And do give this video a like. And I'm definitely going to come back here. That's for sure. Hopefully uh, this place will be a little bit more fixed up. But uh, definitely going to do some more videos. Back in this one. I'm not really sure when. This was just a, I don't want to say a sneak peek, but it was just one video. What this place looks like. Since there's 4,100 memorials here. But uh, until then, I got to go for now. Later.